Hey, hey, it's Berta J. back in my kitchen today. I wanted to um, make some soup because here in New England, where I reside, there's been a cold snap and soup is just the most wonderful meal that you could have. It is just, it's all encompassing. You can put starch in it, you can put grains in it, and that's what this is gonna be. This, we're gonna be making lentil soup. And this recipe I came up with over a number of years. And so I'm gonna show you how to make, how to get started. One of the first things that I use is this, it's a vegetable broth, but it's a powder. You can get it in cubes, and those are fine if that's what you wanna use. This I really like because it's a powder, and one teaspoon will give you, will equal one cup. But I cheat a little bit because uh, <laughs> I want it to last a long time. So I may use two cups of water for each teaspoon of this vegetable pow broth powder. And it's called Seitenbacher and I find it at Whole Foods supermarket. And so what we're gonna start doing, I'm gonna show you the how you piece it all together. There's a lot of ingredients. It's gonna be very hearty, but it's gonna be very delicious and you're gonna be glad you made it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a half a cup of the reconstituted Seitenbacher vegetable broth into a good size pan. This is probably about three quarts. So if you've got a three quart pan, put it in there. So I'm gonna stir it up a little bit because it does settle at the bottom. Pour it into the pan. And then you're gonna put in one clove of garlic and you're gonna chop it up. Mm, not so, not mince it, but just chop it, okay? Get all the little pieces and get it all, remember? You don't wanna leave anything and I say it's, a, it's one clove, so you're gonna get all of the one clove. And then you're gonna do, you're gonna chop up uh, one stalk of celery. I like celery. You could use, if you like any of these ingredients, you could use a little bit more, but just keep in mind you want to add, when I tell you the amount of vegetable broth you, actual, you actually use, what you'll need to do is to uh, make sure you add a little bit more of that if you want it more like a soup. Otherwise it'll be like a stew and that's not a bad thing. And what we're doing is we're doing the, the root vegetables first because they are a bit harder. Um, I have some potatoes here, but that's going to cook for a long time. But we, when you start a soup, it's always good to, to use some either water or some kind of broth and then put in your root vegetables like onion and celery. Celery is really not a root, but it, it put onion, celery, garlic together and get that taste going. It'll smell up your house and make it smell really wonderful and you'll be glad you did. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cook this for three minutes and then I'll be back. Okay. I've cooked all of those ingredients together, the celery, the onion, and the garlic, and this is what it looks like. You don't wanna get it mushy, you just wanna cook it a little bit. It's gonna be in there with everything else, absorbing flavors and such, but it, it, that's the way it's gonna look. That's how you start. You could start any soup this way, many soups this way. The other thing is that you're gonna use a third of a cup of lentils, and what you do before you get started with your lentil soup is you wanna make sure you cover your lentils with water and let them and sit them aside so that those lentils start to get soft. There's, they're a hard uh, legume. And so the water gets absorbed, it's still alive, it's got enzymes and it starts to absorb that water. So when it gets in with the rest of your vegetable broth, what's gonna happen is they're gonna cook really nicely. And all you do is drain the water from them. You don't use the water that's in them. You're just gonna drain it off and now what you're gonna do is start constructing your, your soup. You're gonna put in your drained and soaked lentils, 15 minutes if I didn't say that, at least 15, but it can be more. Okay, so you take that over here. You're gonna do uh, a third of a cup of brown rice and throw that in. You're gonna do a half a cup of carrots I like shredded, kind of disappears, makes it a little bit sweet. This is a half of a cup of, this is fire roasted chopped tomatoes. I like those, they're by Hunt's, but you could get any kind of chopped or cubed tomato. And then you're gonna put in, I like mixing, remember that? If you've looked at any of my other videos, I've told you about that. So we would put potatoes in. You could either do all white or you could do 
sweet potato. But I'm mixing sweet potato and white today. And what you use is three fourths of a cup or a very small white one, white potato and a small or a small sweet potato. Okay, so all the, all the vegetables are in. And now for your spices, you're gonna use one bay leaf that goes in. Bay leaf, these spices that I'm using in this, in this soup are great for many, many soups. My go-to spice if I'm making up a soup is always bay leaf and marjoram. This is parsley flakes. This is marjoram. This is a, a teaspoon and a half of, of uh, parsley flakes and a teaspoon of marjoram and a teaspoon of basil. All of them are dried. And then the very last ingredient is four cups of that reconstituted Seitenbacher, remember that vegetable broth? I'm gonna put that in. And that's your soup. You're gonna let this cook and for 35 minutes and then we'll be back and I'll show you what we have, okay? So we've cooked the soup, the lentil soup, for 35 minutes. And then when the 35 minutes were up, we put in, I put in that a half a cup of corn, frozen corn, and a half a cup of green beans. They're fresh green beans. You could use frozen green beans if you would like. But it makes it, can you see this? It's very, very hearty. It's like a stew. If you would like it more soup-like, you could put in more of your vegetable broth that you've reconstituted, maybe another cup or so. The thing that I've learned about cooking um, is that if you really want the taste to have that salt, salt is used, I believe, not just to be salty, but so that it brings all these flavors together, all these spices and herbs and such. So I put it in at the very end. So that's what I'm gonna do, take a teaspoon of salt and sprinkle it over and then stir it up and one of the things I can tell you about doing this is that you will you can um, I don't eat a whole lot of salt but the salt that I do use I usually put it on as I said after it's cooked but the thing that you'll find out is all these flavors come together now and this will taste delicious I guarantee you but tomorrow it'll be over the moon it will be so unbelievably tasty and each day that uh, you you um, go back in your fridge and you get another bowl full it'll taste even better those spices start to marry and love on one another and it just tastes so so good so I'm gonna scoop out a nice ladle full right here so you can see it all the green beans and corn and potatoes that's a lot of soup I like soup um, but here it is Berta's own recipe for lentil soup I sure hope you make it and I know that you're gonna enjoy it and really know that this is wonderful tasting you try any of my recipes or do any of my trip tricks and tips I would love for you to leave a comment down below and let me know what you did, if you have a question about it, if it worked, if it didn't work. Um, just, just let me know. Let me hear from you, okay? Because um, this is really a labor of love for me. I wanted, have been wanting to share my recipes and tips and tricks for a long time because it reaches a wider range of audience. I've been talking to my friends and my family for years, but now I get to talk to you. So just leave a comment down below, okay? Thanks.